Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, Shubham Madhav is here with another lecture of the electrical engineering and electrical machines and today we are going to discuss the interesting topic which is the construction of a DC machine and uh, here uh, the machine can be act as a generator or the motor and in the both feature the construction of the DC machine is the same one. So let us discuss the construction of a DC generator or the motor which is simply called as the DC machine. So uh, DC generators and the motors have the same general in the construction. So all DC machines have the five principal components. There are the five essential or the principal components of any while designing any uh, DC machine. So number first is that the field system, second is the armature core, third is the armature winding on which is to be wound on the core of the armature and fourth is the commutator and fifth are the brushes. Now before going to explain these five essential parts of the DC machine. First of all, we need to uh, understand this uh, diagram okay, which is the shows the construction of a DC machine in which the uh, parts are uh, denoted on the specific positions. So now you can see this is the outer frame of machine which can be called as the yoke. So yoke is the outer cover or the protecting cover of the DC machine. Second is that these are the pole shoes, okay. these are the pole shoes as you can see, these are the pole shoes and these are the poles north and south, obviously every magnet has the two poles north and the south. Okay. And this is the armature winding, so in the DC machine the armature conductor or the armature uh, armature core is the rotating part and the field coils are the static part of the DC machine. And this is the armature and this is the winding which are to be wound on the armature core that is called as the armature winding and these are the field winding that are wound on the poles of the DC machine and these are the brushes which are fixed or connected on the outside of the on that of the commutator and this is the commutator which is used to convert the which can act as a mechanical rectifier used to convert the alternating voltage which is produced in the armature winding of the DC machine and it is it will convert into the direct voltage with the help of this commutator which is used in the DC machines. Now number first is that the field system let us discuss the yoke or the outer frame serves the two purpose. The yoke or the outer frame, outer cover of the DC machine serves the two purposes. Number first is that it provides the mechanical support for the poles and act as in the protective cover for the whole machine. So as you can see, this is the uh, protecting cover or the outer frame of the machine, okay, which provides this mechanical support, this number of the poles. Okay. And second is that it carries the magnetic flux produced by the poles. So obviously these poles are uh, uh, carry the some exciting DC currents by the field coils and the purpose of this to carry the magnetic flux which is to be produced by the field winding or the field co coils. So in small generators where the cheaper cheapness is rather than the weight is consideration, so we are using the cost iron. Okay. We are using the cost iron uh, for the making the yoke or the outer frame of any DC machine in the case of the small machine. But in the case of the large machine, usually the yoke or the outer frame or the protecting cover of the DC machine is to be made by the cost steel or the rolled steel. Okay. Second point is that the function of the field system is to provide the uniform magnetic field when the armature rotates and it consists of the number of the salient poles bolted inside the yoke as you can see the poles are fixed inside the cover or the yoke of the machine 
so the main function of this field coils or the field winding is to create or to produce the uniform magnetic field within, within which the armature rotates and in the case of the DC generator the field coils are like if the separately excited DC generator the, the field coils are excited by some external source DC source and the armature is rotated with the help of any prime mover. So, the lines of the cuts of flexes takes place d phi over dt whenever a flex is linking with the coil is changes and EMF is induced in the coil according to the Friedel's law of electromagnetic induction. The field coils are mounted on the poles and carry the DC exciting current and the field coils are connected in such a way that adjacent pole have their opposite polarity. As you can see these field coils are like uh, fixed uh, uh, fi uh, are mounted on the poles ok. You can see these are the field coils, field coils and they are mounted on the poles and they carry the DC exciting current ok and they are connected in such a way that they have a adjacent polarity which has the opposite one. So, uh, the main function of the field coil is to carry the DC exciting current and the main function of the field system is to provide or to produce the uniform magnetic field and way in which the armature is rotates it cuts the lines of the magnetic lines of the flux through the air gap and hence the EMF is working EMF is induced in the armature conductors of a DC machine. The MMF developed by the field coils produces the magnetic flux that passes through the pole pieces and the air gap and the armature and the frame as you can show, as you can see in this figure that necessary MMF what is the magnetomotive force it is the product of the number of the trends of the coil or the number of the trends of the like over here the field wind field trends multiplied by the current exciting current. So, if there is in more magnetic flux there will be the uh, tightly magnetically coupling between the armature conductors and the field coils ok. So, MMF is developed by this necessary by an MMF developed by the field coils and a magnetic flux is passes through this magnetic flux is passes through these poles through this air gap through this armature conductors which is if in the case of the generator it rotates by the external prime mover and it cuts the lines of the magnetic flux and hence the EMF is induced in the armature conductor as shown in this figure. So, practical DC machines have the air gap which is to be ranges from the 0.5 mm to 1.5 mm means the practically the air gap between the field uh, means uh, our uh, field coils and the field system and the stator and the rotating part of the DC machine is from the 0.5 millimeter up to that 1.5 millimeter. Since armature and the field systems are composed of the materials that have the high permeability obviously in the magnetic circuit the material should have the high permeability. So, that if there is an high permeability means it conducts the, it permits the more amount of the magnetic force produce the necessary amount of the MMF ok and uh, in uh, which is the if uh, if there is an high permeability obviously there will be the less reluctance low reluctance because in the magnetic circuits the reluctance can be defined it is, it is the opposition offered by the magnetic circuit to the magnetic lines of the forces or the flux. So, if there is an reluctance is low then permeability will be high if there is an high permeability it will produce the more MMF in the field coils and if the more MMF is to be produced in the field coils uh, carry the field coils obviously the armature is rotated by the external prime mover and hence the lines of the cuts of the flux will be more and EMF will be more induced in the armature conductors in the case of the DC generator. And the most of the MMF uh, of the field coils is required to set up the magnetic flux in the air gap. So, now by reducing the air gap by reducing this air gap there will be a tightly magnetic coupling between the stator and the rotor and also it can also reduce the size of the field coils in the field system of the DC machine. So, this was the field system. So, that the main essential function of the field system is to provide the necessary magnetic field necessary MMF ok 
and when it is to be cut by the lines of the flux are to be cut by the armature which is the rotating part of the DC machine hence the EMF is induced in the armature windings or the armature conductors of a DC machine. Second one is that your armature core and the winding. So, armature core and the winding. So, see this diagram. So, this is the armature of the DC machine and hence this is the commutator. Now, AC voltage is produced in the armature conductors of the DC machine. So, here an assembly which is connected with the armature core which is called as the commutator and the function of this commutator is to uh, convert the AC voltage which is generated in the armature conductor of a DC machines into the direct voltage. So, the function of the armature core rotate between the field ports, the armature is the uh, moving part of a DC machine in which the working EMF is induced or produced. So, it consists of the soft iron slotted laminations which have the uh, 0.4 to the 0.6 millimeter and that are staked to form a cylindrical core as shown in figure as you can see this type of the cylindrical core. Uh, and uh, which has the lamination thick lamination of the 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 mm. The purpose of the laminating core is to reduce the AD current loss. AD currents are the circulating currents okay? and the main disadvantage of this AD current loss is that it, pro it produces the heating effect and it can uh, make uh, uh, machine uh, uh, lower efficient. Okay? So, to um, eliminate or sorry to minimize the amount of the AD current losses in the DC machine core uh, in the machines. So, we have to laminate the armature core of the DC machine or the armature core of the DC machine or the DC generator or in the case of the motor. So, to reduce the minimize the AD current loss. The laminations are slotted in a to accommodate and provide the mechanical security to the armature winding and to give the shorter air gap for the flux to cross between the pole, pole, pole face uh, and the armature teeth. If there is a shorter air gap, so there will be a tightly magnetic coupling between the field coils and the field uh, um, poles and the armature and obviously if there is a shorter air gap, so uh, the flux can easily cross. Okay. Uh, between this pole faces and the armature teeth. Now, there are the three main essential functions of the armature core. Number first is that the permits the rotation for the mechanical generator action. In the case of the generator, this armature core is rotated by the some external prime work and in the case of the DC motor, the DC current is to be provided uh, through the brushes which are mounted on the commutator and uh, our this armature uh, carry the DC currents. And second one is that the houses the it houses the conductor in which the EMF is induced. Obviously, the, you can see this armature core it comprises of the it houses the a number of the armature conductors in which the working EMF is produced. And third one is that it provides the low reluctance path for the magnetic flux. Obviously, in the magnet circuit, if there is a low reluctance path, obviously it can produce the uh, high permeable, high permeance and if there is a high permeance, it produces the more magnetic flux or it uh, more EMF is induced in the uh, core of the machine which is the armature core. The slots of the armature core hold the insulated conductors that are connected in a suitable manner that are called as the armature winding. So, the armature, uh, wind, uh, armature core uh, holds the out, uh, armature conductors that are connected in a suitable manner. So, that can be called as the armature winding. Okay? This is the this is the winding in which the working EMF is induced. So, in this in these windings, the working EMF is induced. In the case of the generator, the generated EMF is produced, and in the case of the motor, the back EMF is induced in the armature windings of the armature core of the DC machine. And the armature conductors are connected in series and parallel. So, if they are connected in series so as to increase the amount of the voltage and when these armature conductors are connected in parallel so as to uh, increase the amount of the current. So, it depends upon the type of the machine either it is a series wound machine or the uh, parallel wound machine. So, 
dip, it depends upon the uh, type of the machine. So, in the case of the series, uh, in the case of the uh, conductors, when they are connected in series, they will increase the amount of the voltage, and when these armature conductors are connected in parallel, it can, can increase the amount of the current. The armature winding of a DC machine is a closed uh, circuit winding, the conductors being connected in a symmetrical manner, forming a closed loop or the series uh, of the closed loops. So, this was the uh, function of the armature core and the armature uh, winding, the armature core in it houses the armature uh, conductors and in which the working EMF is produced and the function of the armature core is that it uh, permits the mechanical permits like the rotation for the mechanical uh, generator action it houses the conductors in which the VA working EMF is produced and it offers the low reluctance paths for, for to provide to produce the necessary uh, EMF in the uh, core or the windings of the uh, DC machine. Number fourth is that the commutator. The commutator I have explained in my previous video the action of the commutator, the main function of the commutator is to uh, convert the alternating voltage which is generated in the armature winding into the direct voltage. So, commutator main construction of the commutator is that it has the two segments the C1 and the C2 and both are separated by the thin mica sheets as you can see. The commutator is a mechanical rectifier which converts the alternating voltage generated in the armature winding of a DC machine into the direct voltage across the bushes. The commutator is made up of the copper segment okay, insulated from each other by the mica sheets and mounted on the same shaft of the machine. You can see this these are the armature conductors and these are the commutator segments okay, and then and they are insulated and the main function of the commutator is that it is a mechanical rectifier, it converts the uh, alternating voltage into the direct voltage. The armature conductors are soldered to the commutator uh, segments in a suitable manner to give rise to the armature winding and then there are the two types of the armature winding in a DC machine. Number first is that the lap winding which is the parallel winding. Okay, it which is used to increase the amount of the current and this is the wave winding which is the series winding uh, which is used to increase the voltage. Number fourth or number fifth is that the bushes. The bushes, the main purpose of the bush is that to ensure the electrical connections okay, and to carry the amount of the current from the commutator and supply that current to the external load circuit. Now, it ensures the electrical current. So, in the case of the generator, bushes carry the current from the commutator and supply the current to the external load circuit and in the case of the DC motor, they feed the DC supply current uh, to the commutator. Okay. Means, in the case of the DC motor, it requires the DC current okay. and in the case of the DC generator these bushes collects the amount of the DC current from the commutator and supply that carry that uh, DC current and supply that current to the external load circuit. So, the bushes are made up of the carbon. Why carbon? The carbon has a good electrical conductivity and soft in a it is a soft material and good electrical conductivity and due to its softness it cannot scratch the commutator. Okay. And to improve the conductivity sometime we are going to uh, add some small amount of the copper and that are to be brushes are to be placed on the uh, like uh, rest on the commutator. Now, if the push pressure, pressure is high the friction produces the uh, heat on the commutator and the brushes. So, if the brush pressure, pressure on the commutator uh, segments are high obviously, so it can produce the more friction and friction causes the heating. Okay. And if the contact between the brush and the commutator is too much weak or the imperfect connection between the our commutator and the brushes, 
so it can produce the spark between the brushes and the committed. So at the end this was the lecture regarding the DC machine construction. If I am going to recall or summarize this lecture, so every DC machine have a 5 essential parts the yoke or the field system, second one is the armature core, third is the armature winding, fourth is the commutator and fifth is the brushes. So the function of the field uh, yoke is to provide its outer frame of a DC machine, it is provide uh, like uh, its, uh, its main function is to uh, like uh, protect the machine or it is uh, protecting cover of a DC machine and it carries the magnetic flux which is to be produced by the core and the field system, the main function of the field system is to uh, produce the magnetic flux, necessary MMF flux uh, carry uh, DC current excited by the uh, DC current carry by the field coils and whenever the armature is rotated in the case of the DC generator, the generated EMF is working EMF is induced in the armature conductor due to the according to the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, flux is linkage between the armature conductors and the field coils hence EMF is produced in the generated EMF is induced in the or produced in the armature conductors of the DC machine and the armature core and the winding in which the working EMF is produced and the function of the armature core is that it permits the rotation for the mechanical generator action and number third, number two is that it houses the number of the conductors. So and number third is that it provides the low reluctance path and the armature winding has the two types the lip winding and the wave winding. So in the case of the series winding it is used to increase the amount of the voltage and it in the case of the parallel path winding armature winding so it used to increase the amount of the current. And number four, fourth is that commutator it is a mechanical rectifier which is used to uh, convert the alternating voltage uh, uh, which is produced in the armature winding into the direct voltage. Okay. And the fifth is that the brushes, the function of the brushes is to collect the current from the commutator side and supply that current to the uh, external load circuit in the case of the DC generator and in the case of the DC motor uh, the, uh, the they feed the supply DC supply current to the commutator. So this was the whole lecture regarding the construction of a DC machine. I hope that you have enjoyed or uh, you have enjoyed the today's lecture and at the last please subscribe, do subscribe my YouTube channel Shobhi Madhav for more informative videos and interesting videos related to the electrical engineering area. Thank you.